What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast as you can see we're here on Unison League and we are going to be doing a super duper awesome cool video for the Barduck um, raid expedition, a boss, whatever. I think it's called like super extreme or something like that, uh, the hardest difficulty. So just off the bat, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you that we are doing one healer, two archer, two mages. Meteor Strike comes out, Weaken Resolve goes off on the boss. Uh, we have Photon Strikes coming out from uh, Tuna or Crispy or Rye Spy or I have no idea what to call him at this point. But um, the guy on the bottom right there. Um, so basically, uh, we are doing good damage over here. We have uh, Yuki putting out a healing. Uh, dot or hot whatever you want to call it healing over time on the characters there um, the one that's super duper annoying in Colosseums uh, we have Jay on the bench as also a backup healer some damage coming in on our uh, bottom uh, characters there I do have two single target heals one uh, AoE recovery heal and one dignity on as a healer this is because he does use blinds and I do have Again, three heals that can take off blind. I am now um, just cycling out unisons. I do the first unison, as you can see, is a debuff unison, also a buff unison. Uh, it is the Witch Trick or Treat spell that also does debuffs and buffs, right? We got the recover going out. Um, basically, what you guys want to do is cycle out your DPS at this point, uh, being able to uh, utilize the cost of the bench and uh, also utilize your unisons correctly. As you can see, I swap out to J uh, or Jared, Jared, who is um, on the bench, and uh, we are going to uh, go ahead and swap out because my cost is low. So just because I. Um, you know, uh, swap out. I have a good amount of cost um, sitting on the bench, and then he has, uh, you know, just the capability to heal the rest of them while I'm regenerating my cost. So have two good healers available. Have uh, eight good DPS available. Get you guys' rolls down. Uh, I do suggest taking at least two balances. I would suggest maybe three balances would be good three to four even because balance is really what's gonna uh, take you to the next level on this boss uh, will save you a lot of trouble from your healers dying and, and this and that uh, we are trying to do um, rainbow unis however sometimes we do do this uh, double the same color so at this point we do do the double the same color because the balance wasn't on the target take note of what um, of what skills he's actually using um, I think that it's like called like AC something I'll go back and tell you exactly what the skills are Sonic Ray going out that's a three da three uh, target attack attacking um, three targets so Magneteer that's a AOE looks like magic damage uh, attack um, but you know it really doesn't matter uh, what kind of damage it is as long as you have a, uh, either a Valk, which gives you all types of defense buffs, or you have a Lilith or the Witch, which is going to give you all types of damage down debuffs. So the magic actually doesn't matter too, too much unless you're like trying to do like an all mage in the main type of deal, which is I don't recommend, but you know, may, maybe it'll work. Um, looks like right now we're just doing cycling out um, buffs. Cycling out unisons. Um, again, doing attacks between unisons incredibly important in all high-level uh, endeavors in the game. All high-level quests, trying to kill off any kind of raid boss type thing. Doing damage between unisons very important. Also, during this uh, timed event, uh, doing unisons that are not the same color are is pretty nice. But at the same time, like right there, we could have used. Uh, Lilith and the other Valkyrie, and then the, uh, the Lilith and the Wind Valkyrie, and then we we save the Dark Valkyrie for a later uh, a later unison. However, we did do um, that means that we do have a high amount of damage coming out here. Although uh, Crispy over there is is uh, switching out, Crispy Tuna always flopping about. So. 
there we go. We do a good amount of burst damage. You can look at the health that's going down pretty well here. Um, and I am back in. Doing some good heals out. Putting some good heals out. Alright, so we have about 10 minutes left on the clock. 5 minutes are gone and have elapsed already. There we are with the Shinatobe crit. Uh, I'm waiting on any heals right now. I'm like waiting, waiting, waiting. Then I put my area recovery up. I'm like, you know what? This is a good time to do it because I'm somebody's gonna unison. I'm gonna be able to get my area recovery uh, back up. I do only have one AOE heal besides Dignity. Uh, that is on a semi-large semi cooldown as well. So there it is, right there. Uh, now I'm kind of needing to use Dignity at this point because even though there was three people, I didn't want him to do another quick attack and kill them. Alright, th that's the, uh, the buff there, A-E-M, A-E underscore M, that's the buff, and as you can see, it did get um, balanced off there. Multiverse, this is the one that does incredibly high damage, and you need your um, dignity for that, and I was sorely uh, caught, so I'm, I'm just going to say, um, you know what, forget it, let's go ahead and do a double uh, dark buff, so that I can get my unity, unity, uh, Dignity cooldown back up, and then uh, I also have my AoE recovery cooldown back up just in case he tries to do like some kind of tricky paralyze or um, you know, confuse or status effect. At this point, this is the first time I've ever seen him, so I just want to make sure I have all of my uh, all of my cooldowns up here. That's why I decided to make the call and do the double same color unison. Otherwise, you want to go ahead and do that. Nerve crush, there it is. That's the paralyze right there. Paralyzed, um, it paralyzed Sora, and then I actually had the uh, cooldown, so I can take that right off. All right. Again, you can heal your uh, people that are getting um, swapped out. There it is. I need the dignity for that. There is the dignity. All right. Looks like we're just getting our. Uh, rainbow unisons now we're just like saying hey you know what we probably might be able to make this timer we have uh, half of his HP down and then we also have um, a good amount of damage here if we keep on doing rainbow unison we should be good to go as long as we uh, do enough damage and don't mess up on any of the uh, balancing or anything like that so fallen star the high damage single target Alright, keeping it going here. Magnetar, or whatever that is, it's the AoE, not too high damage um, attack. Don't need to dignity that. Um, you could probably just throw either two AoE heals on it, or as you can see right there, let the unison heal for you. So that's the one that you need to use your air recovery, because uh, that is going to paralyze. Alright, looks like we're using some the main just for um, some extra damage as we do have two mages and two archers so they both do massive damage. Now I'm going to go ahead and just double checking if the uh, unisons would align to make a uh, an actual unison so to make the hell caller come out so I'm just saying okay cool it's not another uh, purple let's go ahead and pop it now so that we can get some good burst damage on him before he pops his uh, clear clear all of his debuffs off, right? Alright, there's the AEP. Uh, we need to po pop the um, balancing. There it is. AEM. Make to, we need to go ahead and pop the balancing again. There's the uh, multiverse where I need to pop my dignity. Alice is popped for some reason. Probably accident. Uh, dignity pops fallen star high damage one single target all right magnetar that's the AoE so now right now I'm just like thinking okay should I pop this right now yeah I should because then I can heal every everybody's gonna get healed from this and I, I need to pop it because I need to have an extra little bit of time for my dignity to come back up so everybody's healed, everybody's good for now, but if he uses something right 
there, I would still have my dignity. Nerve crush. Alright, so I need to put that, uh... I actually needed to put the, um... The other recover up. Well, actually, no, I, I did fine because, um... Because I did the, uh, recover on the target that did get paralyzed, so that's fine. Alright. Multiverse. This is the one with dignity. Okay. Looking good so far, guys. Nerve crush. That's the one that does high damage. Oh. That was, I think, one-shotted. I don't know, though. But I probably could have healed them a little bit more. I didn't want to waste too many cooldowns. I did not proc on that. Fallen Star. Right there. High damage. Single target. Putting that um, heal back up on there. AEM. That is a buff that needs to get cleansed. Uh, the balance. Yes, the balance went out. Uh, the double unison went out on us. So that was a little bit of a misstep, but at the same time, he did just use his buff, so not the worst time to use his. Try not to uh, do the same unison. Do it like a uh, rainbow unison or a different colors unison if possible. Alright, so a couple attacks between unisons is always good. Uh, and then we do a double unison again. This is probably not the right time to do it because we just debuffed him. Um, so not the best time to use the, the Lilith. However, it's, you know, certain things happen right there. Accelerator, that just cleared all the debuffs. So that Lilith, we used two, two Liliths and a Witch and he just cleared all his debuffs. Multiverse, this is the Dignity. And then recover on s somebody who I think is going to die most. Cured on the person who I also think is going to die. Put the area recovery on uh, all of us. Now I have no cooldowns. All I have is one recovery. Fallen Star. Boom. Hits me. Recovers. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so right at this point I'm saying, hey guys, we are in the red zone. We have three minutes left. We can probably kill him right now. So, let's go ham. Make sure everybody's got their uh, stuff on point. Nerve Crush, that's the one that does the, um, the, uh, Paralyze. I actually used my AoE, uh, that takes off Paralyze, but it, nobody had Paralyze, but I needed to use it for, uh, just healing it, uh, purposes. Although I probably could have waited just for that, um, Shinatobe to heal it for me. But it's okay, because I'm, it's coming right back up. Magnetar, that doesn't do too much damage. Alright, looks like... We have another Shinatobe coming out. Two minutes left on the clock. We got him on the ropes right now. And... Let's see what he does. Acceleration. That just took off all of his debuffs. So now he has haste and the debuffs. Uh, balancing actually went out on him. Even though balancing doesn't do anything to the acceleration. Nerve crush went out. I did the airy recovery. Put a recover back on him. A E M. Now this is where he buffs all of his uh, magic attack or his attack. Uh, you need to balance that off right now. So we need to get a balance off on the boss right now, or else it's going to be a big trouble. So looks like yeah, his magic attack is incredibly high right now. Fallen Star, boom! I get one shotted by Fallen Star. So Fallen Star probably magic damage. So anytime he does AEM, you definitely want to get the Fallen Star off. Boom. Another uh, damage comes out on him with the magic attack up. So he's doing a high amount of magic damage right there. Multiverse, probably a percent based uh, skill that does probably 99% of your HP. Still need to get a... Um, like people are say balance, balance, balance. Everybody's saying balance, balance, balance. But at this point he actually doesn't need to be balanced. Although the balance does go off on him. Um, but he uh, his buff ran out. Nerve crush going down. Uh, yes, go does good damage, but almost Yuki actually almost died from that. So here comes the heal. I I think at this point I'm saying like uh, like we just need like one more. We can do like one more unison, and then we need to just not do any more unisons. But at this point, yeah. Yep, we're doing good damage to him. Very good damage. Here comes the last unison. Alright, here we go. 
This is it. This is the last unison. This is the last hurrah. If we can beat him or not, we are not sure at this point, but we are going to go full out uh, DPS on the boss right here. Uh, it was a rainbow unison, so perfectly we did not uh, activate. And we have killed him with, you know, three seconds left or four seconds left it was. So that is the Marduk encounter, guys. Um, we did one shot at first attempt so I hope you guys can learn from this I'm sure you guys could do better uh, execution wise we did just do this like the first time so it's not like um, you know we practice it and everything we didn't we had like a video we watched but it was actually just like like some people doing it that were like it was like a lower level version of it so and they had like nine people on or something I forget but not everybody watched it. I watched like a little bit of it and then we stopped. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how it went. Um, this is just me receiving all the rewards. It's just really boring. But um, da -da 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 -da. and then obviously you get the Marduk at the end. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys that this is the skill here that he does. And then obviously he reforges to, he needs two of the holy orbs to reforge him. As well as, uh, I think like three Kesapasas, the king. Holy Kesapasas, right? Alright, cool. So I, I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, big shout out to all my guild members here. Uh, shout out to Jay, the guild leader, who is um, leading everybody, telling everybody what to do on um, Popcorn, uh, as well as everybody um, in the guild for doing a really good job. Uh, thank you guys. Um, and yes, yes, we did get the Marduk. So, um, yeah, I hope this helped you guys out a lot. I'm sure you guys can learn from it, um, make the strategy better, make your own strategy from it. Um, I hope you all guys get the uh, Marduk during this um, time of the raid. Uh, show it to your friends, tell them how we did it, and then maybe you guys can come up with your own strategy. Or if you guys want to try this strategy, then that you can do that too. Alright, give me a thumbs up if you guys liked it or it helped you at all. If you didn't like it, you can give me a thumbs down. Definitely check me out in the next video. Check out the comments below and tell me what you guys want in the next video. And that would be awesome. Uh, as always, if you guys could subscribe, that would be great. And thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. Peace.